Before you can begin to run samples on your Max 4000 XL or Max 4000, you will need to perform a balanced span calibration and a weight test. Span calibration should be performed after setup in a 60 minute warm up or whenever the instrument is moved or whenever a problem is suspected. The weight test should be performed as part of your daily startup routine or at the very least as part of a weekly checkup routine. The weight test is a simulated loss on drying test and assures that the instrument's balance is reading accurately. To perform a span calibration, you will need the 20 gram weight, a clean sample pan, and the tweezers. From the home screen, press the menu button. Use the directional keypad to the right of the screen to highlight calibration menu and press enter to select it. You are now in the calibration menu. Select balance calibration to enter the balance calibration menu. Finally, select perform span calibration and press enter. The instrument is now ready to perform the span calibration. When you are ready, press the go button and follow the instructions on the screen. After placing a clean pan on the pan support and closing the lid, the instrument will begin obtaining a zero load reading. This reading allows the instrument to recognize what the empty sample pan looks like and compare it to the reading when the 20 gram weight is added. When instructed, use the tweezers to place the 20 gram weight in the center of the pan. When prompted, open the lid and use the tweezers to remove the 20 gram weight from the pan. Repeat the addition and removal of the 20 gram weight as directed by the instrument. The first round was to calibrate the balance. The second was to verify that the calibration was successful and that the balance is working properly. Throughout the process of placing the weight on the pan and removing it, it is important to avoid putting excess pressure on the balance. Continue to follow the on-screen instructions until the span calibration has been completed. At the end of the calibration process, you will see a screen with the button labeled Proceed. Press the button and you will be taken to the results screen where you will find out if the span calibration has passed or failed. After a successful calibration, the calibration report will be displayed. If the calibration or verification fails, you will need to try again. If the instrument does not pass after a second or third attempt, refer to the troubleshooting section of the Max 4000 XL or Max 4000 manual or contact Amatech Arizona Instrument or your local representative for assistance. To perform the weight test, you will need the three and five gram weights, a clean sample pan, and the tweezers. From the home screen, press the program button, then use the directional keys to highlight the factory weight program. Press enter to select the weight test, then return to the main screen by pressing escape twice. The to test line will now read to test weight and the instrument will start to warm up until it reaches the programmed idle temperature of 80 degrees Celsius, which is noted at the top of the on-screen thermometer. Once the instrument reaches 80 degrees, press start and follow the on-screen instructions to perform the weight test. The instrument will promptly remove the old pan and place a new pan on the pan support. If the existing pan is clean, for example, if it was just used to perform the span calibration, it can be used again. Simply remove it momentarily, then place it back on the pan support before closing the lid. Once the instrument has finished tearing the empty pan, a red and green bar graph will appear, along with a prompt to open the lid. The bar graph provides a visual indication of how much sample is acceptable for a particular test program. In this case, eight grams 
plus or minus one gram is acceptable and in green. Anything outside of this range is represented by the red part of the graph. Open the lid and use the tweezers to carefully place both the three and five gram weights in the center of the pan. After you have added both weights and the total weight registered within the green part of the graph, follow the on-screen instructions and close the lid. The instrument will then determine the initial weight of the sample and then start the test and return to the main screen. Now is the time to quickly open the lid and using the tweezers, remove the three gram weight. Close the lid once the weight has been removed. The purpose of doing this is to simulate weight loss. The only time you will need to open the lid during a test is during the weight test. The three gram weight that was removed represents 37.5% of the initial eight grams that the test started with. You'll notice the percent moisture value displayed on the screen is nearly that value, as is the percent rate of loss per minute. You will also note that the sample weight now reflects approximately five grams. The test will usually conclude in about a minute to a minute and a half. The acceptable range for this test is 37.48 to 37.52. If it passes, the screen will turn green and report as pass. If it fails, it will turn red and report as fail. Once the test has ended, open the lid and use the tweezers to remove the remaining weight. Remember, the heating chamber is now nearly 100 degrees C, so take care not to burn yourself. In case of a failed weight test, repeat the weight test. If it still fails, perform a new span calibration and weight test. If it fails again, contact Amatec Arizona Instrument or your local representative for assistance. Now that you're done running the span calibration and weight test, it's finally time to add programs and run a test. For more CompuTrack tutorial videos, check out the playlist linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about your CompuTrack Max 4000 XL or Max 4000, contact your Amatec Arizona Instrument or local representative using the links in the description below. We look forward to serving all of your moisture, solids, and ash needs. If you like this video, let us know by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Have a topic in mind for a future video? Send us your suggestion by visiting azic.com contact.